Common anime eyes for girls are big, rounded, and innocent-like look that stands out among all the features of the face. This tutorial is a basic anime look and good for cosplayers. Starting off with priming the face, I used Etched House Pore Primer. Then apply lip balm to condition your lips and to prevent your lips from cracking. I use Revlon Photo Ready because as cosplayers, expect a lot of pictures taken. As you can see, I did not use a brush or a sponge. I am just using my fingers to blend the foundation, but be extra careful on the under eye area because it is very sensitive. After the foundation, I apply Etude House's BB Cream. This BB Cream is lighter than my shade so I apply this to the frontmost area of my face. So it gives a little 3D effect plus extra coverage. Then I conceal my imperfections with NYX Concealer. With any loose powder of your preference, dab them onto your face using a kabuki brush. Just dab it and don't brush off. I use Marionade Kabuki Brush and Clean and Clear Powder that I pulverized. For my eyebrows, first I use this brown eyebrow pencil by Revlon. With L'Oreal's angled brush and Maybelline's brow powder, I'll redefine my brow to match my hair color. If you cosplay, of course, base your eyebrow color on the character you're playing. For the eyes, I will be using this brown eyeshadow palette and this eyeshadow brush by Etude House. I do not know what's the name of this palette because it's written in Japanese, but you can use any brown eyeshadows that you have. There's nothing fancy about the eyeshadow because basic anime eyes are really simple. With that same palette using the fleshy color, apply it on the inner corners and on the brow bone area. And now for the catch of this look is the fake lashes. We will be using two fake lashes. One is the Wonder Volume and the Side and Long both by Etude House. First, I will be putting on the Wonder Volume Lash normally as we usually do. But before I put on the second set of lashes, I will be using that same angled brush and a black eyeshadow to tight line to erase the skin color underneath the false lashes. See the difference? Now, time for the side and long lashes. Place the lashes below the first lashes. Yes, below, having the inner end of the lashes almost at the center of the lash line. The outer end must be slightly curving downwards to fake around your eyes. I'm done with my upper lash line. I'll need a matte white eyeliner and line my lower lash line up to the tear duct area. I don't strongly impose the white eyeliner to be matte but it works better for me. Next, I'll have my trusty liquid eyeliner and draw my fake lower lashes like so. And don't stress yourself to make it really perfect because it might make it more crooked. Just have fun. We're not done yet with the eye so I'll take a black eyeshadow and a stiff brush and darken the outer corner like so. For my cheeks, a blush brush and Max Factor blush in Classic Rose. Anime characters don't have much blush on them so I'll just pat it on my cheeks to have a subtle color. I'll cover my tinted lips first with Etude House Lip Concealer. This is optional but if you'd go for a character who doesn't wear a lipstick, 
I recommend to neutralize the lips. For my lip color, I will use Revlon in Primrose. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Don't forget to check me out on these sites too!